There's nothing like Christmas reviews again! It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Everywhere you go Take a look at the five and ten It's glistening once again Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude and I am here to review The Santa Switch. This film is about the man that is unemployed, he is struggling to find a job so he could buy all the gifts to impress his two kids because he's been ignoring his family lately. His wife is ready to file a divorce, he's struggling a lot, he's doubting Christmas, he's getting to the point where he absolutely hates Christmas, he just can't take the holiday just the stress. So the real Kris Kringle aka Santa Claus actually comes to town. Dan doesn't know he is real. When Santa saw how doubtful Dan was for Christmas, he decides to let Dan take charge of him being Santa Claus while the real Santa Claus is out on vacation. He sends the elf assistant to guide Dan into the whole Santa Claus process and to make sure everything is ready for Christmas Eve. And while he has the charge of being Santa Claus, he's trying to impress his kids and try to spend more time with them and try to regain more of his relationship with his wife. You guys are probably wondering what the hell is this movie? Well, this movie is actually a Hallmark film. That's right, it's a film I saw from the Hallmark Channel, and I'm not a huge fan of Hallmark movies personally, but I will give at least certain ones a chance. This movie started, and my family was watching it, so I decided to stick around and give The Santa Switch a chance. And I know what you guys are thinking, this sounds similar to The Santa Claus. In a way, you could kind of say that. I mean, both the elements of this one man trying to be Santa Claus and handle it, it sounds the same. It is different because in the Santa Claus, Tim Allen, he scares Santa and accidentally kills him. And this one, Santa Claus switches with Dan, where Dan becomes Santa Claus and he goes on vacation. The Santa Switch, I surprisingly didn't mind it. It's not a bad film. It is a film that definitely belongs in the Hallmark Channel. The storyline is really nothing too special. You've seen a lot of this stuff before. You all know how the f film is going to unfold. It is very predictable. But I must say, it is a cute film. It had me smile at moments. I really enjoyed Sean Astin's character. He was really enjoyable. He was funny. You could get a little bit annoying being pushy with Dan, but you could kind of understand why, because Dan as Santa Claus, he has to be responsible, and he's paying attention more to impressing his kids and trying to regain a relationship with his wife. Steve Valentine, surprisingly, was in this film, and he plays Trevor, Linda's boss. Linda is Dan's wife. He does a good job here. He's not in this film that much but when Steve Valentine pops in the screen you just really like the guy. Steve Valentine I think he's a very likable actor. Whenever he was on screen he honestly did bring a lot of charm to it. The film is cute to watch. I think it's a film the whole family can enjoy. If you love Hallmark films and you just want to get into the spirit of Christmas, I think The Santa Switch is one of them. It's not a film that I could really watch again. It's not the best. It's easily forgettable. But for the one-time watch, I must say I found myself a bit surprised by this film. And I am glad that I stuck around to watch the film. It's a nice, cute Hallmark film, and I think some parents might not mind watching this film, kind of like how I didn't mind this film at all. It's cute. It's a cute film. I'm going to give the Hallmark movie, The Santa Switch, two and a half out of four stars. Subscribe, like, and share. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Comment below your opinion on this Christmas film. I am 22 Tiger Dude. Keep the holiday spirit alive. Don't forget that I will always have... Tiger Power!